I'm, I'm sure it's happening kung sinong nakakapanood nito ngayon. Either meron silang kilala or nangyari sa kanila of abuse that they don't feel comfortable talking about it. I don't know. I don't feel like this is the right place. <laughs> I'm struggling. But I did experience similar things nung bata ako. Um, and I'm not gonna name names kung sino. It happens in showbiz. People have those desires and, you know, they take advantage because of their power. I guess the reason I do this, yung ginagawa namin ngayon sa Parola, is because, you know, I did have a history of abuse. Kumusta kayo, madre? Welcome sa Rai TV. Isang revelasyon ang matutunghayan nyo ngayon, mga dre, tungkol sa tunay na buhay ng isang batang aktor na sumikat noong dekada 90 na si Jonel Hernando. Siya ay mas kilala sa pangalang Sambag mula sa pelikulang Magic Temple. Marami sa inyo ang nag-request na siya ay aking kapanayamin. Ngunit sa totoo lang ay isa ako sa kanyang mga taghanga. Kaya ako ay lubos na nagpapasalamat dahil kami ay pinagbigyan na ginoong Jonel na makakwintuhan upang malaman kung kumusta na siya at ano na nga ba ang kanyang buhay ngayon. Okay. No, no, it's okay. Just bring in. No problem. Come in. Okay. Because my parents go. They did not have a story of my poster. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning, po. Sorry, po, sa abala. Good morning, po. Yeah, hello. Ako si Junel Hernando. Wala akong screen name. Junel Navarro Hernando. Mas kilala ako ng mga tao sa pangalan na Sambag, Temple. sa Magic Temple. Yes. Of course. Um, yeah, and Samuel sa Magic Kingdom with Anne Curtis. Anong year po yun, sir? Ilang taon po kayo na? Noong Magic Temple? Yeah. Yung Magic Temple, 12 years old ako noon. Mm. Yung Magic Kingdom, 13. 1996, yung Magic Temple, mm. and then Magic Kingdom, 1997. Before nung movie, um, nag-start kami, yung mama ko, pito kami magkakapatid. Okay. Um, yung mama ko, dinadala niya kami sa isang TV show, yung tinatawag na Pen Pen de Sara Pen. Yeah, so, doon natuto kami sumayaw, acting, okay. kumanta, maraming mga workshop. So, nag-attend kami sa workshop, and after ng mga workshop, every Saturday, kasama kami sa show ng Pen Pen de Sara Pen ni Tita Connie Angeles. Um, and from there, um, actually, nakasama namin doon sila Asunta, sila Alex, Sandra, uh -huh, Sunshine, um, Sunshine Bison, di ba? Um, sino pa ba? Fred Moore? De Los Santos. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, Anyway, doon kami nag-start and once na napasok ka doon, may maririnig mo na yung mga audition. So, yung nanay ko, dadalihin niya kami wow. kung saan-saan mga audition. And then, lumalabas kami sa mga TV, extra-extra, mm -hmm. mga maalaala mo kaya pag kailangan nilang mga bata, mga kung anong kailangan. And then, uh, nagkaroon ako ng malaking break mm -hmm. nung nakilala ko si... Becky Galiaga and Laura Reyes. Um, meron akong uncle na nagtatrabaho siya as a uh, ano siya, uh, production manager. Production manager siya sa kay Tita June Rufino sa Channel 5. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I think kung naalala ko, yung time na yun, meron silang isang artista na hindi sumipot. Eh, hindi siya available. I think si Christopher Peralta 
yung dapat and hindi siya available. Mm-hmm. And then production assistant yung uncle ko, sabi niya kay Peke Galiaga at saka Lori Reyes. Sabi niya, eh, meron akong pamangkin. Pwede siya yung pumalit. Okay. So tinawagan ako. It's just one day before, di ba? One day before, tumawag siya. Hey, punta kayo ganitong time. May meron siyang role para sa akin na pinasok niya kami. Mm-hmm. So nandun kami and pumunta kami sa set sa Antipolo ba yun? Or Tagaytay? Mm-hmm. Hindi ko na maalala. Mm-hmm. Basta... Um, pumunta kami doon, na-meet namin si Peke Galiaga, Lori Reyes, siyempre kinakabahan ako. And I was only 10 years old. That was your first diba? movie po, no? Hindi, actually TV series lang mm-hmm. yun. Okay. TV series lang yun sa uh, Channel 5 din ba yun? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Channel 5. And nung nakimit ko si Peke Galiaga and Lori Reyes, naalala ko yung first impression nila is, Guys, sino bang uh, negrong batang yan? Yeah, yun yung yun yung nasinabi na sa akin nila later on. Kasi <laughs> sinabihan pa ng ana ata nila si Tito, yung tito ko si Tito Buboy na Buboy, hindi namin kailangan ay kailangan namin artista, hindi pamangkin mo. <laughs> na ganun. Uh, okay. Anyway, that do na kakilala uh, and then natapos yung shooting and I think I made an impression kay Peke Galiaga and Lori Reyes oh, after nung nung time na yon. Mm-hmm. And so, dun ko sila nakilala. And then, months later, nagkaroon sila Peke Galiaga and Lori Reyes ng audition para sa movie Baby Love. Ah. At yun yung first movie na naging ah, part ako. Nung okay. pumunta ako dun sa audition, um, humarap ako, sabi ni Peke Galiaga sa akin, Oh, for Junel, I don't need an audition. Really? Yung umalis ako dun, hindi ko alam. Ano? Either hindi niya ako nagustuhan, or... or Dalawa lang yun. Yeah, yun yung so, eh, bahala na. So, two days, three days later, tumawag sila and they offered Hindi na meron daw. Hindi na um, We're hoping, okay. you know, we're hoping na ganun na nga yung mangyari. Mm-hmm. And then, two or three days later, tumawag sila and then, uh, they offered yung role doon sa Baby Love, sa movie na Baby wow. Love. And yun yung first movie na naging part ako as supporting. Mm-hmm. Kasama yung, yung lead doon si Jason Salcedo yeah. um, at saka si Ana La Rosea. Mm-hmm. And remember. alam niyo yung movie na yun? Yeah, yung Baby Love? Yeah. yeah? Um, anyway, so yun yung first movie. And after that movie, and dun na yung um, you know, nag-offer na sila Peke Galiaga and Lori Reyes. Ma-correct me if I'm wrong. Kasi bata ako nun eh. Mm-hmm. Kaya hindi ko maalala kung tama. Uh, okay. um, nag-offer na sila kung pwede nilang i-manage yung career namin. Alright. Simula nung time na yun. Oh, mm-hmm. Tapos yun na nag-start yung Magic Temple. Mm-hmm. Tapos Magic Kingdom. And Sa then yung dun, Gangland. Uh, Baby Love, ano? Magic Temple na po ba? Kagat. Sa, Baby Baby Love, Temple. Magic Temple. I think Actually, Baby Love ba- muna. Sabo po kayo sa Batang Expo, no? Before, ah, ano? Nag-ano lang ako doon. May isang scene ako doon na kinuhaan ng hamburger ni Michael De Mesa. Ah, okay. Kasi yung scene na yun, natap- natapos na yung movie nila mm. ng Batang X. Sorry, ano ba nauna? Batang X or Baby Love? Batang X. Batang X na una. When they finished the movie Batang X, mm-hmm. and then when they met Janelle, mm-hmm. they decided to get him as a... Mm-hmm. You know, Kasi merong isang scene yeah. na kulang sa movie. Okay. Ah. So, Batang S, tapos na yung shooting. Then, ginawa nila yung okay. Baby Love. Mm-hmm. And then, merong isang scene na kulang sila ng scene doon na sinama nila ako no, no. dun sa McDonald's. Ah, okay. Kaya ako yung batang ako kinuhaan ng yung straw, eggs. hamburger, yung famous okay. eye. Yung hamburger ko! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yung ano, kwento nyo naman po sa amin yung ano, Magic Temple. Yeah. Kasi tumatak talaga yan eh. Until now, pinapanood mm-hmm. ng mga ano yan. Yeah. Ano, I mean, po. yung Magic Temple, um, so after nung Baby Love, and yun yun yan, like Batang X, then uh, mm-hmm. Peke Galiaga, Lori Reyes with Eric Mati, mm-hmm. they start, they created yung story ng Magic Temple. Uh-huh. Um, hindi ko alam yung details paano, pe, pero yung nakwento lang sa akin uh-huh. na they have us in mind dahil kilala na nila si Jason mm, no. sa Baby Love and then ako um, and they started creating yung Magic Temple na story mm. um, with uh, us in mind yun yung pagkaintindi ko oh, okay. um, and so when nung nagawa na nila yun they offered it and they si Mark Solis is a uh, talent siya ng Star Cinema during that time 
and of course it's produced by Star Cinema. Si ganun siya kalakas sa movie noon hanggang ngayon. So yes. ano ano sa so palagay niyo po yung sekreto ng movie na yan? I think uh, I think uh, based uh, na rin ko and based sa uh, opinion ko rin. Mm. You know, I think it's Magic Temple is just it connects sa mga sa Pilipino, you know. Right. And uh and yung yung story and yung characters is really relatable mm. sa maraming mga Pilipino. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, nung time na yon, sino ba kami? Sino ba si Junel Hernando? It doesn't matter kung sino yung artista, mm-hmm. but it ma- what matters is you connect sa story mm-hmm. ng movie. Hindi lang hindi ka manonood ng pelikula dahil sikat si ganito, sikat si ganyan. Yeah, yeah. You really went there ah. to be really connected sa movie. Tama. And when that co- connection happens, and I think yun yung magic na nararamdaman ng mga tao. Mm-hmm. And of course, Peke Galiaga, Lori Reyes, and mm-hmm. Eric Mati, they're mm-hmm. just amazing uh, mm-hmm. storytellers. Yeah. And uh, they did a, a great job. Um, and, and uh, you know, it's such a privilege para sa akin to be part ng yeah. movie na yun. And and for us, it, it, hindi siya parang trabaho eh. Mm. It's just like we're just kids, yeah, we're just and me. they really helped us to be ourselves. Mm. Nung time na yon, mm-hmm. kung sino si sambag, yeah. it's just that's just how I do it, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the guidance, and they they helped us to be really comfortable mm-hmm. sa harap ng camera. Correct. And so, kaya maraming nagsasabi na parang yeah, they just it's sobrang natural yung mga mm-hmm. hindi oh sila yung pa mm pa cute or ganon. Doa. Yeah, parang <laughs> y- yun yung naririnig ko. Um, and I just think it's just because we were just authentic na you know we're just having fun Opo. and then kung may problema we're just you know having we deal with the situation mm. and it was fun i mean bata kayo and you make this film it's just it's it's so, just bata really pa kayo, fun sir, nabanggit niyo po bata pa kayo kung gusto yung samahan niyo noon yung mga co-stars niyo noon sa no behind the scene um, it was really fun um mm. para lang kaming magkakapatid kasi mm. yung shooting noon it takes about 2 months 3 months mm-hmm. yung shooting and even before nung shooting na yun maraming pre-production Mm-hmm. And uh, si Lopeke Galiaga and Lord Reyes, they are very well known sa hindi sino shortcut yung mga project. They really take time and the details and yung preparation mm-hmm. is intense preparation. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's such a privilege to be part ng preparation na yun. And so you get to really comfortable sa mga co-stars mo, may ginagawang mga workshops before mag-start yung film para you break yung mga mga um, awkwardness mm-hmm. and uh, mas maging comfortable ka sa lahat ng magiging katrabaho mo mm-hmm. yeah okay after po nito sir nagkaroon ng sequel no so yung oh. sumunod ng magic temple is yung magic kingdom yeah and with magic kingdom um, hindi ko alam kung ano lahat ng details pero it was produced by Viva hindi na star cinema. Ah, okay. Oh, uh, kaya yun din yung isang reason Tama. kung bakit si Sambag naging Samuel, mm. si Omar mm. naging Oman, si Jubal naging Jobert. Um, I think it has to do with legal. I, I don't think we could officially claim na part 2 yung Magic Kingdom. Pero, assuming kung fan ka ng storyline and all that, and alam mo si Peke Galiaga and Lawyer Reyes yung nagproduce, and si Jun Urbano, siya pa rin yung Sifu at saka Amain sa Magic Kingdom. You know, you could get it na parang continuation. Tama, Pero tama. technically, it's produced by Star Cinema and, and yung Magic Kingdom is with uh, Diva. Diva. Right. And yun yung first movie ni Anne Curtis. Yeah. First movie niya po yun? Yung ni Anne Curtis, okay. yeah. Okay. Yun yung pinaka first movie. Si Galiaga already had these characters. Mm-hmm. And then, nag audition sila in place of Anna Lorcia. Ah, okay. So, they picked Anna and Curtis. Yeah, because Mark Solis it with Star Cinema. Kaya hindi siya na, nahirapan siyang umalis sa Star Cinema to take that role. And and I think Anna Lorcia yeah. was also with Star Cinema. May contract sila doon. Ah, kaya kaya uh, nahirapan silang... Um, kasi may marami na doon. Ano sa si Anna? Si yeah. And plus, I think yung kay Anna, it's a different character. It's a mm. princess. Mm. You know, it, so it, it won't make sense. I think mostly si Mark yung, um, yung isa, which is pinalitan ni Janos. Mm. So si Janos naman yung kasama namin. 
um, sa Magic Kingdom. Ano, kumusta po yung pagkakaibigan niyo nito? Hanggang ngayon po ba nakikita-kita pa rin po? Ba? Yeah, si Mark. I mean, uh, message kami minsan pag yeah. nakikita ko, connected kami. Yeah. Si Jason, which is pangalan niya Gino. Yeah. Gino sa uh, Zipa, Sipagan. Mm. Um, nasa California na siya. Ah. Yeah, kaya pag bumibisita siya dito, papaalam niya sa amin, hindi sure nag get together kami ah. para lang, para kaming magkakapatid eh. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, lalo na kami ni, ni Jason, I mean, karamihan ng movies namin, magkasama kami madalas dahil kami yung um, nag-manage sa amin si Peke Galiaga at mm-hmm. si Lori Reyes. Okay, ito sir. Uh, marami kasing nag-aabang sa... Sa so, palagay niyo pa, magkakaroon pa ng another ano na to? Sequel nito. Magic Temple? Yeah. Sana. Magic Kingdom? Sana. sana. Hindi ko alam. Ay, ma- marami rin nagtatanong sa akin, kailan ba? Kailan ba? I mean, wala akong power. Hindi ako producer ng movie. At mm. saka, I don't have rights ng Magic Temple, mm. Magic Kingdom. Mm. I'm also hoping. Mm. You know, marami nagsasabi na sana kayo pa rin yung gaganap na sana hindi i-remake na hindi bago. You know, I... I hope that too. You know, yun din ang hinohope ko. Pero sa ngayon, um, wala pang naman nag-reach out sa akin about doon. Maraming rumors Pero, about uh, na mag-start. And I, I, mm-hmm. and I heard it diretsyo sa mga people sa ABS that they were planning. Like, Pero dahil nga sa pandemic and uh, all that right. nangyari, maraming delay. And yung latest, si Direct Nick, di ba? Yung mm-hmm. isang tinitingnan nila na magpo-produce. Wala akong update. Kung yun nga talaga yung nangyayari, um, I hope so. Kasi fan din ako ng Magic Temple. Makasali man ako or hindi, I would love to see it na continue. You know? I mean, hope ko na, you know, they'll do it parang, you know, like Star Wars, you know, years later. Nandyan pa rin. Pero na-preserve yung original story. At least yun yung personal hope ko. Para may kun- iba na yung story, pero nandyan pa rin, intact pa rin yung original malaki story. Yung, malaki yung paniniwala ko, sir, na pag lumabas yan, sigurado, boom yan. <laughs> Lalo na sa mga yeah. age. Yeah, I hope so. And kasi, you know, it's it's a iconic movie. Um, and you know, baka hindi ko alam, baka yung Magic Kingdom, Viva, hopefully dahil nandiyan si Anne, maybe unahan sila ng Viva, hindi ko alam. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede rin na maging sequel ng Magic Kingdom instead na Magic Temple. And I don't know, we'll see kung anong mangyari. Sir, yung movie nyo po pala with ano? Uh, I remember Sunshine Cruise. Oh yeah, so yun yung isang movie, mga 16 na ako nun. <laughs> Yun yung movie na sa kabit ni Mrs. Montero. Mm. Yeah. So, yun yung isa sa mga last movie na ginawa ko bago ako nag-migrate sa US. Um, si Derek Peke. Ng mga six, yeah, Peke Gali agad. Actually, I miss it then. Mm. And so, that's why every time na may nakakita ako, na, like katulad mo, mm. you know, na nakilala, it <laughs> makes me happy. You know, dahil Lalo natutuwa, ito. you know. Uh, and, and that's what we need. We need joy, we need happiness. Mm-hmm. So kahit sa simpleng bagay, you know, map- masaya yung tao. Mm-hmm. It, it's a privilege, mm-hmm. you know, na maging part. Kahapon sa airport kami, galing kaming Bunay. Mm-hmm. And may isang Pilipina doon na nagpa-picture kami. Sir Junel, pa rin, oh yes, I would love to. <laughs> you know, it makes it, uh, you know, meron talagang fan ng, ng movie na talagang alam nila. Mm-hmm. Mas kaya ako nagugulong. Gulat ako eh. Dahil umalis kami, 16 years old ako nung umalis ako ng Pilipinas. Right. Uh-huh. nag kami sa US. Mm. And then bumalik ako dito sa Pilipinas ng, nung 19 ako for 2 years. Okay. Dahil nag-mission ako sa church namin. Mm. Um, na-assign ako sa Bicol. And, uh, and nung time na yon yeah, may marami rin nakakilala sa Pero iba yung focus ko nun. I was being... Ah. A missionary, so for two years sa church namin, member ako ng The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Mm-hmm. Kilala kami ng mga tao bilang Mormons ang mm-hmm. tawag sa amin. Mm-hmm. So, nag-serve ako ng mission, um, na-assign ako sa, doon sa Bicol region. Mm-hmm. Um, kilala niyo si Eruption, di ba? Of course. Yeah, magkasabay kami noon. Nasa mission kami. Mm-hmm. Magkaka-mission <laughs> kami noon. Hindi Talaga. pa siya artista noon. <laughs> yeah. Pero magkasama kami doon. And then after nung two years, bumalik ako sa Utah. Hmm. And then bumalik ako sa Utah, doon ko na nakilala si Julie, yung asawa ko. Okay. Yeah. Siya mong pakilala, Julie? Sige po. Sige po. 
para makita, para makita niyo yung princess ako ngayon. Of course. Yeah. Siyempre. Ito si Ju. Um, asawa ko. Mm-hmm. At uh, meron kaming apat na anak ngayon. So, Junelle had invited some friends to go country dancing. And those friends invited me, knowing that I knew how to country dance. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was shocked when I went there and saw Junelle in his hip-hop clothes. And he was, <laughs> he was definitely out of the norm. Mm-hmm. Um, but he was a really good country dancer, so he caught me. <laughs> yeah. Ang kami ng apat na anak ngayon. Mm-hmm. So, yung dalawang na una is babae. So, meron 14 years old at saka 12 years old. Si Kamiley and Adeline. And then yung dalawang bunso is lalaki. Is uh, okay. 10 years old at saka 7 years old. Si Jameson at saka si Landon. Mm-hmm. Kumusta si Sambag ngayon? Masaya ba si Sambag? Masaya ba? Am I happy? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I'm honry. <laughs> um, no, I'm really happy. Um, I love my life ngayon. I'm grateful mm-hmm. kay Julie um, and, and the family. I love my kids. Of course, you know, uh, it's, it's the best. It's the real source of joy. His family, and and if there's one thing, you know, I would promote is strengthening families. Is one of the mm. pinaka source ng joy sa buhay natin dito sa mundo. Mm. Um, and so we focus on that. And I don't know. Are you happy? Yes, <laughs> I am. Why are you happy? Um, because I have the rock as my foundation. Ano pinagkakabalaan ngayon ni Sir Junel? Um, so sa ngayon, bumalik kami dito sa Pil- Pilipinas five years ago. Right? In five years. Um, and we started yung organization um, at sa, sa US, tinatawag uh, Lighthouse Sanctuary. Okay. And dito sa Pilipinas is Parola Santuario. Mm-hmm. Um, nag-start yung Lighthouse Sanctuary Mostly, it's really an answer sa prayers namin. Um, we felt the the need and the calling to come back here, mm. um, not really understanding how and kung paano, but it was a very clear answer na there's a need na kailangan namin bumalik. So we started Lighthouse Sanctuary. We were inspired by isang organization Um tinatawag na OUR, Operation Underground Railroad, sa Utah ito. Okay. And what they do is they rescue kids from trafficking. Mm-hmm. And and trafficking is uh, alarmingly one of the fastest crime growing, um, selling children for uh, sexual purposes and other purposes. Um, and Pero when we saw that, it's just, yung mga bagay na once you see it, it's hard to unsee. Siyempre, um, and especially we have kids, uh, you know, you realize na, oh my gosh, this could be my kids. Yeah. Um, and one thing that hit me nung pinanood, nung na, na we learned about what they're doing, there's three things na formula for these things happening. Um, number one is poverty. Number two is people speak English. Mm. And number three is internet connection. And when I realized that, sabi ko, all those three is existing dito sa Pilipinas. Mm, mm. Although OUR, hindi pa sila, wala silang operation dito sa Pilipinas, um, gaano, mm. um, it it made us feel like there's definitely um, mm. is a place where we probably should help and see what we can do. So we really prayed about it kung ano yung dapat namin gawin and what can we do. Yes, and uh, at least sa story ni Julie, um, she got a clear answer na we have to come back dito sa Pilipinas and start a shelter. Okay. And naalala ko nung time na yon when Julie got her answer, she called me at work and nag-work ako nun and I was working sa isang company as a project manager sa marketing mm-hmm. um, and I was having a bad day Sabi niya, I think kailangan namin pumunta na we have to move sa Philippines to open a shelter. Ah. Sweet, I'm gonna quit today. <laughs> Talaga? <laughs> I hope it was that easy, but it's not that easy. <laughs> um, but anyway, it, it was a roller coaster process until mm. 
we ended up, um, you know, uh, talking to our families and friends, and and some people think that we're crazy. Um, some people <laughs> believe that uh, supported us and mm. to make it happen, um, and so they helped us and support us to get things started. Okay. Um, so in January ng 2017, that's when um, we decided na to sell most of our stuff. Pinarent namin yung bahay namin doon. I left my job, mm -hmm. and uh, Julie's brother um, helped a lot, you know, in making sure that we are supported so we could start itong organization. Mm -hmm. And so we came here. We we started living dito sa bahay dito, which oh, is where we grew up, mm -hmm. um, and we stayed here for mga six months. Mm -hmm. um, we learned everything we can. We have different organizations mm -hmm. that we went to naginagawa similar yeah. sa what we feel like is needed, mm -hmm. and we learned from them, and they helped us how to get started, and so we ended up starting. Um, and uh, one clear answer that came to us is to go sa Ilocos Norte. Okay. Um, which is, yung tatay ko is taga Lawag, Ilocos Norte. And so, meron akong roots doon. Um, ang nanay ko taga Bicol sa Legaspi. Mm. So, I'm uh, Bilocano. Bilocano. Yung tawag nila. <laughs> um, but anyway, we moved sa Ilocos. We started yung shelter. Um, we are known dito sa Pilipinas as Parola Santuario. Mm -hmm. um, and we started um, setting up as a residential shelter. And so, it took us about one year mm -hmm. to get started. And since the first referral, and so we work closely with DSWD. Okay. Um, so we are a registered organization okay. with uh, Region 1 mm -hmm. um, uh, to operate. Um, as a residential shelter okay. and our focus is mostly um, kids who has uh, have sexual abuse and uh, trafficking um, cases na kailangan ng lugar for a safe place mm -hmm. and for healing from abuse uh, and it's it's heartbreaking dahil you know these are topics na mahirap pag-usapan mm -hmm. and it's topics na we don't feel comfortable talking about it mm -hmm. because it's a hard topic and it's easier to not see it. Mm -hmm. Pero it's hard dahil we try to bring it to light. And I really believe that the only way to fight darkness mm -hmm. is to bring light to it. And I feel like that's what we're doing. And with your help and these followers that you have, mm -hmm. you know, it's happening here. You know, I'm, I'm sure it's happening kung sinong nakakapanood nito ngayon. Ito, yeah. Either meron silang kilala or wow. nangyari sa kanila mm -hmm. Of abuse that they don't feel comfortable talking about it mm. and the more we hide it the more na yung problem na ito will continue mm. and the only way to stop it is for us to say it's not your fault hindi natin kasalanan mm. and wag tayo matakot and to say say it when we're ready when we're not ready you gotta prepare that means then we're not ready and we could make things worse mm. but when we're ready to say it that this happened to us so we could stop yung cycle ng abuse mm. and lalo na dito sa atin mm. you know we pag may ganun nangyari mm. we prefer na tayo tayo lang wag na natin ilabas uh, you know wag na tayo kahit ano pa yung batas natin mm. sa law may batas tayong ganun ayaw natin gamitin yung batas kasi nakakahiya you know and wag na natin ipalakihin yung issue tayo na lang and what happens is the person doesn't get the healing na kailangan nila mm. the perpetrator kung sinong gumawa ng mali mm. na ano lang slap lang sa hand and they continue to do and the cycle continues mm. to happen mm. so yun yung hinohope namin to change with our mission is to really empower kapag may nangyaring ganito there are laws. There are batas. Maraming tao akala nila gagastos ka ah, to file a case. Sir, to That's not true. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of resources to tulungan ng government. Mm -hmm. Pero kahit it takes courage. Yun yung mahirap. Yung lakas. That's why yung mga bata na ito who, who fight for their case, they are really my hero. You know, they, we talk about sambag as a hero. But the real hero is courage. Mm -hmm. You know, yun yung kailangan. And to file a case to somebody... Na powerful, yeah. 
yun yung talagang um, it takes courage to do that and that's why you know since we started we work with 85 kids mm. and mostly in Ilocos Norte and uh, alam ko there's other places na nangyayari na ganito and how all much the country mm -hmm. oh yeah for sure and for hindi sure. lang dito sa Pilipinas mm. all over the world especially pandemic has not been good sa cases. Mas mm. mag-increase yung cases. Maraming mga bata, they were stuck sa bahay nila with their perpetrator na hindi sila pwedeng umalis. Okay, no? And that's why you see maraming mental health mm. issues ngayon. Maraming um, suicide happening. They don't know how to deal with it. Mm. Ang encourage ko, if somebody's listening, you know, and this is happening to you, talk to somebody you trust. Mm. You know, and you know, these things are happening. These things, but then you talk about the concerns side of the kids. Mm. Yeah, maybe Julie wants me to share some things. Okay. You want to learn about behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, this is your time. I think the question is, why did you start Lighthouse? Why did you care enough? Hmm. I don't want to say this dahil, you know, because usually when people say things na ganito, they feel like, uh, yeah, gusto mo lang sumikat ulit, or gumanon. Uh, that's not my intention. Um, and, I don't know, I don't feel like this is the right place. <laughs> I am struggling. Um, but I guess I could talk about the industry. And, and, and the sad reality is the industry, and especially the culture, not in, um, where we are very celebrity-oriented. And we put you mga celebrity really on a high pedestal. Mm. Um, and everybody wants to be artista. You know, anyone would do anything mm. para lang maging artista. Mm. And because we have a big population ng culture na ganun dito sa Pilipinas, mm. people who are in the industry uh, take advantage of those things. Um, and it's it's a sad reality na there are kids. I mean, sa ginagawa namin, there are kids who get abused all the time. Um, uh, and they don't talk about it. I mean, you see what happens sa U.S. You know, that's a Hollywood industry, you know, with the Me Too movement, you know, mm. you know, exposing yung mga ganun. Um, and we are so naive to think na hindi yun nangyayari dito sa Pilipinas. Mm. Okay. I mean, we hear stories, balita na ganon, and somebody lumabas ganon, anong nangyayari? Babalik ka rin. Ay, gusto lang yan sumikat ulit. And, you know, naninira lang yan dahil laos na siya. You know, something like that. So, I mean, it's not my place to tell stories of people na kilala ko. Who, you know, gonna, it, it, they will tell it when they're ready. And that's their, that's their story to tell, not mine. But I did experience similar things nung bata ako. Um, and I'm not gonna name names kung sino. And also, that's just part ng showbiz. But it also happened in... It happened uh, in showbiz, sir. Yeah, it happens in showbiz. You know, uh, people have those desires and, you know, they take advantage because of their power and they use that. Um, uh, yung vulnerability ng um, isang bata. Um, and so, I guess the reason I do this, yung ginagawa namin ngayon sa parola, is because, you know, I did have a history of abuse. Although we cater sa mga babae um, and, and growing up, um, I do want to help and we want to help you know let them know that it's not their fault and and the mental uh damage mm -hmm. na nang, when that happens sa isang mm -hmm. bata mm -hmm. is sometimes hindi mo makikita until years later mm -hmm. you know years later may mga 
man, may mga decision or ginagawa yung tao, we blame yung victim kung bakit siya ganun. Yeah. Pero hindi natin alam, the, the reason na nangyari yun is because they went through yeah. something na nag-happen sa kanila nung, nung bata pa sila. Yeah. And I, I bet you, there's lots of people listening ngayon that, uh, that they have that experience that they've never told anyone. And maybe there's a hope na ngayon, find somebody that you could talk to and know that there are options. And the more we talk about it, that's the start yung healing din natin. Nabanggit nyo kanina mm-hmm. kasi isa yun sa reasons kaya ang raming nagbigsa suicide eh. Hindi nila sinishare yung mga ganyang experiences nila. Mm-hmm. So maganda yung advice niya na sabihin mo sa closest friend, family, members, that you can trust. Yeah, of course. And I'm just speaking out that he'll, you know, um, because of what we're doing. Okay. And and I hope na if somebody hasn't shared their story, mm-hmm. you know, um, share it to somebody. Oh, okay. Call us a parola. We'll, we'll help you. Tama. Project po ba ngayon? May mga offer sa kanya? Ngayon, kausap ko si Eric Mati. Yeah. Um... Eh, hindi ko alam if I should even say it kung okay lang pero uh-huh. uh, baka mayroon daw siyang iniisip na uh-huh. maari uh, so I'm hoping I'm hoping merong character and, and something uh-huh. that uh-huh. I feel uh-huh. like uh, <laughs> pwede um, I, dahil nakita ko yung post niya she just signed up uh, um, si Ann Curtis and uh, Gerald Anderson nata uh-huh. yeah may bago daw silang project so nung nakita ko yun sabi ko Kuya Eric Paano ba ako mag-audition? Sabi ko, well, nami-miss ko dahil nakita ko yung sa yung clip and then mm. and then every time may ganito, you know, I felt like ah, nakaka-miss. Well, masarap, masarap. I really enjoyed acting. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um it's a it's a ultimate play para sa akin. Pwede sabihin sa uh-huh. basta pag may offer, go pa rin, no? Yeah, honestly, yeah. I'm I'm open. Um of course ngayon hindi na siguro katulad ng dati, I have to set some standards. Okay. You know, hindi kabit ni Mrs. Montero. Okay. There are scenes there na I would feel really uncomfortable uh, na makita ng anak ko. And uh, even asawa ko. Uh, you know. So, I, I, you know, some people and some artists feels like that that's a, a limitation and denying your potential. Uh-huh. Pero I'm okay to live with denying my potential as long as I feel comfortable yeah, na, na maging uh, okay lang sa pamilya ko. So, of course, ang maganda, may asawa na ako, tutulong siya sa akin if that's something that we feel comfortable to do, then we will do it. But I love acting. I love that. And Eric Mati is, is one of the great uh, directors, you know. Um, and so, to be a part ng project niya is a privilege. It's a privilege, yeah. May maraming nag-aabang. Uh, and so I'm excited na i-announce kung okay lang i-announce pero okay. we'll see. Marami mag-aabang na for sure okay sa ako doon. Uh-huh. Kagaya ng nabanggit ko po sa inyo kanina no. Isa po kasi kayo sa ano most requested sa ano namin, hinahanap kayo. Uh-huh. Hindi lang sila, apat apat ako syempre kaya sabi ko, ay, hindi pwedeng hindi natin may interview si Sir. Uh-huh. It means po Sir na hanggang ngayon eh marami pa ring naghahanap sa inyo, marami pa ring sumusuporta sa inyo through the years. Uh, this is your time po para pasalamatan yung mga fans na nandyan pa rin. Absolutely. I love mga followers, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, sa face, usually active lang ako. Meron akong page, yung Junel Hernando page. Mm-hmm. Um, so far, there's uh, 68,000 na nagpa-follow doon. Mm-hmm. Nakakagulat, nakakataba mm-hmm. ng puso. Um and, and yun yung mga tao na just really wants to know kung ano na nangyayari. So, from time to time, I try to update. Minsan, nagla-live ako doon para lang mm-hmm. to give update. And hindi ako familiar sa... Kaya nga, gusto ko mamit kayo. Eh. Sa, ano ba itong magamit ito para we could do something? Sa mga fans, thank you um, sa support ninyo. Alam ko, naghihintay kayo kung kailan ako babalik ng showbiz. Hindi ko mapapangako yun. Pero, if there's an opportunity, I will do it para sa inyo. Um, and, of course, I love it too. Um, and when you see me, makita nyo ako, feel free to say hi. Yeah. I would love to Wait, have sir. a picture or ano bang gusto ninyo. Um, hindi, hindi, hindi ano bang gusto ninyo. <laughs> that, that's... <laughs>
<laughs> Kailangan natin ng limit <laughs> um, Pero yeah, I'm, I'm happy to meet you. Um, so wag kayo mahiya. And uh, and yeah, just follow my page. Maybe si Rai TV will think of some content para sa inyo. Yeah. Siyempre, <laughs> siyempre, sir. Yeah. Willing akong tumulong para sa inyo. Sir. And yeah, thank you. Stay strong. Alam ko hindi madali ang buhay ngayon. Um, just keep going. Fans na nakikinig, follow, like, and subscribe. Dito. Saan ba? Dito? Dito. Diyan sa lahat. Yeah. Pindutin nyo lang. Subscribe, Right TV. They're doing great. I love supporting. Um, katulad sa kanya, you could feel their passion. And that's what it's all about. Just going for your passion. What you feel is doing. And it's inspiring na makita sila to do it. Right now, they have about 250 subscribers. Like you know, by next month, six months, they'll have a million. You know, <laughs> dahil sa tulong ninyo. Right. You know, just follow them. And uh, I hope for the best para sa Right TV. Follow them. Thank you. Salamat po. Thank you. You know what? Salamat. ba itong magamit ito para we can do something sa, sa option na yun. Right, hey, Josh! Hello? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Sorry, sorry. How are you? See you, man. Say hi to hi. Th this our YouTuber. Oh, this is a famous YouTuber? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, they make, uh, they oh, make, you know? Yeah, come on, come on. What the heck? What's happening, bro? What's happening? Wait, okay. Uh, all right. All right, I'll sit down. Okay. Yeah, you know. What's up, man? This right. is our friend. Yeah, this right. is Josh, our friend visiting from Utah. <laughs> There we go. What's going on? It's, it's your first time in Philippines, right? Yeah, it's just a few days. Just oh, a few days. Awesome. What did I do? I woke <laughs> up. <laughs> Dude, hi, hi, hi. I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. Nice to see you. Um, yeah. So, so what should I what should I expect here? Uh, on this trip. Can you introduce us to our friend? Oh, this is a friend of ours from Utah. Yeah. His name is Josh, and he's oh. visiting. Yeah. And it's my brother. Come here, my brother. <laughs> Introduce you to my brother. Come here. Yeah. So both of them got here in the Philippines, and uh, we do hang out a lot when we were in Utah. Oh, yeah, all the time. Josh taught us how to play poker. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> he's a great, he's a musician. He's a musician. <laughs> really? uh, and he's a musician. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So this is my brother. He's next to me. His name is Lester. Mm -hmm. Um, Hi, what else do you want? You guys want to know? <laughs> yeah. If you watch the uh, 1896, the pagliliwanag <laughs> ng isip pa ni Cecilio. Ah. Oh, sa YouTube ko pinost ko yung uh, TV show na yon. Nandun si Lester. Isa siya sa mga bata doon with Herman Moreno. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, and sometimes ume extra. In sa Magic Temple, yung batang ako. Si, si Aldrin, hmm. yung sa umpisa, hmm. kapatid ko talaga yun. Ah, talaga po? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yung batang sambag is oh. Aldrin. And that's, uh, he's really the... We did music together. Yeah. Aldrin. Yeah, Aldrin. Actually, yeah. it was my it's first collab. So that was what got me started. Dude, I didn't tell you. I'm doing, I'm releasing an album. So I released an EP. If you want to go listen to my music, yeah. um, <laughs> it's Jnon Music, J N O N Music. It's oh, Instagram, you can help and you can look up Spotify as well. Jnon, Spotify, yeah. and then um, yeah, Pandora as well. So I have a radio station. But I'm trying to do music because when me and Aldrin worked together, that was like my big inspiration. That was a moment where I was like, dude, this is this is what I really want to do because oh. he was he was so talented, man. He was so talented. I wish we could. Music with is this your first time here in the Philippines? Sir? Yeah, this is my first time. I, I am, yeah, I'm shocked, like in every way. It's just very different, but I love it. I'm already feeling <laughs> kind of like home. To be honest, we travel together. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah we're going to Machu Picchu next month, next month. hopefully. Really? In Peru. Yeah. yeah. What? So. Where's my invite? Do you want to come? Let's go. Let's go, dude. No, seriously. No, for real. Absolutely. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry no, 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 no. Don't be sorry. sorry dude. I'm sorry, dude. just sorry, happy to bro. see you. You're insane, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh,
Lahat ng trivia niya'y pasok Hahanap-hanapin talaga Wala kang magawa Pumunta ka na sa channel niya Rai TV Rai TV Iba-iba ang mga kwento Nandirito masasabi mong hindi imbento Siguradong mawiwili ka sa kada nood Ng aking palabas Tanggalin natin kung ikaw man ay nababagot Kesa magmukmuk sa gilid Manood at makinig Sama mo ang mga Huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe. Paalam.